Hello friends. People are always asking me about the different drawing level types. And since I use all three types in my recent Getting Started in OpenTunes project, I thought I'd share why I used each type and why I broke up my instructions into so many levels. And last week I showed how I combined the levels into a single column to work like a folder. So if you missed that, you can see the video by following the link up here. So inside the instructions sub egg sheet, I've got five columns with a different level in each column. And here you can see that I've used all three level types. And this was because each type has a separate function and it also made it easier to reposition elements on screen. I could just select the element type I wanted to move, whether it was text, screenshots or highlights, and then move that and only that element. So first I used a vector level for the text. And this was so I could edit the text and resize it without worrying about scaling artifacts. And for most of the frames, I kept the standard size, but I had to resize some to fit all of the text in. And I tend not to use vector levels for more than adding text or for adding solid or gradient color backgrounds. Next, I used a standard raster level for the screenshots of the OpenTunes interface, as this is the only level type that you can paste raster images into. And I used a recent feature in OpenTunes that allows you to paste any image from the clipboard. So I set up my screen to the shot that I wanted to present. And then I used the Windows Snipping tool to highlight part of the screen by holding the Windows key, Shift and S. And then you can simply click and drag over the area you want to show. And that copies it into the clipboard. And I can then simply use the selection tool to click on screen, press Control V and paste that on screen. And then you can resize it to any size that you want or reposition it to where you need to have it on screen. And finally, I deleted any parts I didn't need using the eraser tool. And the third level type I used was the Toons Raster level. And this was used for the arrows, the circles and the other highlights. And I used this type so I could adjust the colours after I'd added them on screen because I didn't know what the final colour would be. So this allowed me to experiment with it by having the highlights on screen as I adjusted it. And it was really useful when I used it later on for the highlights under the text. So I adjusted the alpha setting of the colour to get exactly the shade of red that I thought was necessary to highlight the text. Very useful. And the next column that I used a vector level for was for the next page button and text at the bottom here. And I used vector again to get the benefits of vector text, but also to add the rounded corner rectangle that I spoke about in an earlier video. And by having this drawn on a separate column to the other vector text, it meant I could extend this second drawing down here up to the end of the animation and not have to repeat the drawing and it didn't affect the text in the other column. And finally, I added another vector level for the bouncing ball template animation. And I used a vector level so I could resize the ball and also to add squash and stretch without losing any clarity. And vector just looks really neat for this kind of thing. So a bit of a whirlwind tour, but I hope you found that useful to understand why you might use each of the different level types. Now, I've not gone into full detail about the level types and their features here, but if you'd like to know more detail about levels, as well as learning about columns, the timeline, the viewer, the drawing and colouring tools, and so, so much more, then do take a look at my complete course on Udemy. And you'll find the link to that down in the description below. And I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a darren tea.